What's up guys and welcome to our first 3v3 tier list of patch 9.2. We've hit up some of the best players around and got their opinions on how the 3v3 season 3 meta will end up shaping up. This is of course only a first look based off early season and once more players get access to 4 set we could see this drastically changing. That being said, once the meta is further established we will be of course releasing a more consolidated version. And if you want to make this season really count and reach your goals, why not try skillcap.com slash wow. We offer a money back guarantee if you don't gain at least 250 rating while using our website. So what are you waiting for? Start your season off the right way and visit skillcap.com slash wow today. For this tier list, we'll be placing our compositions into five different tiers, ranging from our highest of S plus tier dropping down to our lowest tier of C. Just as a small disclaimer, Due to the large amount of viable compositions available, we will only be rating what's considered either meta or what we believe to be the best comp for each spec. So what that means is we'll be including one composition for every spec in the game at the very least. Anyway, let's kick things off with our highest tier. There is one specific composition that's been dominating both ladder and tournament play for a few seasons now, and 9.2 has somehow made it even stronger. I'm of course talking about Turbo Cleave. Nah, just kidding. You all know it's RMP. Anybody who's queued Arena at basically any rating has more than likely met this composition, and in all honesty, S plus tier is about 7 pluses too little. The instant 3, 2, 1 triple CC and then 100 to 0 in a stun is just way too easy to execute, and for your opponents, leaves very little counterplay. You make one mistake versus RMP and it's over, whereas RMP can in all honesty make several and still just kill you in a single setup. Well, 9.2 saw big buffs to Holy Priest increasing not only their healing but also DPS, whereas Rogue and Mage went for the most part untouched, but with new additions like Resonator Trinkets, Tier Sets, and Double Legendaries, Rogue Mage has been further cemented as the best composition in the game. Predominantly, it's of course played with a Fire Mage, a Subtlety Rogue, and then a Holy Priest, and as such is the best comp for all three specs involved. That being said though, you can easily swap the Rogue to Assassination, or even Holy Priest to a Holy Paladin, and still have an S plus tier composition. Naturally, nothing can even remotely go in the same tier as RMP, so we'll be dropping down to our S tier now in which our first edition is a relatively new comp that we've seen have great success in both ladder and tournament play, and sees the revival of a spec we haven't seen for a very long time, Fury Warrior. Fire Mage, Fury Warrior, Holy Priest, this takes the incredibly high consistent pressure of Fury Warrior and pairs it up with the powerful crowd control and burst of a Fire Mage, and great utility and healing of a Holy Priest. This composition has come as a result of the Fury Warrior tier set bonuses making their single target damage almost unrivaled, while also being able to maintain a very strong mortal strike effect onto the target. We definitely suggest a Holy Priest for this composition, but Holy Paladin or even Restoration Druid can pose decent alternative healers. The upper levels of our tier list are by no surprise dominated by Fire Mages, and this doesn't change with the second composition entering our S tier, Windwalker, Fire Mage, Holy Priest. We saw this composition dominate last season, and although Windwalker did see some nerfs to Bone Dust Brew to now make it no longer critical strike, as to nobody's surprise, they can still just completely one-shot you, this time with a new adaptation, swapping Kyrian instead. Much like Warrior Mage Priest, you've just got the high pressure and also burst of a Windwalker paired up with the crowd control of a Fire Mage and Holy Priest. So by default, it's going to be strong. Also making the cut for our S tier is good old Jungle Cleave. Going into patch 9.2, Feral Druids got hit by quite a big nerf to their survivability. This has definitely weakened Jungle's defense, but with the current strength of survival thanks to their 4 piece, it's more than enough to help Jungle keep their S position in the upper echelon of our 3v3 tier list. The very high consistent damage paired up with all that instant crowd control coming from the Hunter is always a solid combination. As for specs, the best variation of jungle is with a survival hunter and a disciplined priest for the added damage reductions to help you survive setups, but you can easily play both beast mastery hunter or holy priest to the equal levels of success. That being said, jungle is still the best composition for marksmanship hunter as well, although swapping to MM will likely cause the comp to drop down at the very least one tier. And then last but not least, we've got another new addition to our S tier, which is Mage Lock Holy Priest. If you haven't gathered by now, Holy Priest is by far the best healer. 
pair up Holy Priest with a Mage, which is undeniably the best caster, and you can slot in for the most part any third DPS and still do extremely well. This comp though is shaping up to be this season's strongest caster cleave, and pairs up the instant stun of Holy Priest with the crowd control and damage of a lock and mage. We've seen this comp have success with honestly any variation of the two DPS specs, so demo can work, affliction works, and even frost mage works. And yes, this is also more than likely Arcane's best composition, but will definitely drop down a few tiers at very least due to their viability. As for healers, Holy Priest is the clear winner, but even Druid or Holy Paladin as a healer will keep this comp S tier. The predominant DPS specs and what gets this comp its S tier ranking though, is Destruction and Frost Mage, mainly as a result of the new Destruction tier set, making the overall damage of Destruction a lot stronger, while also providing them with instant chaos bolts. Okay then, so now we are going to be dropping down to our A tier. All of these comps are very strong and could easily jump up higher in later versions of this tier list. The first being Elemental Shaman, Fire Mage, Holy Priest. Yes, before you jump into the comments below, Holy Priest is just broken and as a result is the go-to healer for almost every comp, so for now, get used to it. This composition has always done very well with varying healers. It's got a mage after all. This time paired up with the high consistent damage of an elemental shaman, which now due to the added tier sets has practically 100% uptime on fire elemental, which as you can imagine equates to a lot of damage when paired up with the Skybreaker's fiery demise legendary. Overall, this comp is very strong into most matchups due to the mobility and disruption of both casters, but what keeps it from reaching any higher is a very bad matchup into RMP. Much like most of these sort of double caster compositions, you're going to need a healer that provides a stun, and although we of course currently recommend Holy Priest, you can easily make this work with Holy Paladin or even Mistweaver Monk. In fact, this is by far the best composition a Mistweaver has available to them, helping to cover a lot of their weaknesses. The strength of the comp will definitely vary depending on the healer you select. Taking a break from the Holy Priest Mage comps, our next addition to our A tier is Survival Hunter, Shadow Priest, Restoration Druid, often referred to as Scatter Play. As we mentioned previously, survival with tier pieces is quite frankly broken, and nothing really compares to the damage they're capable of putting out. Then Shadow Priest has always performed very well when paired up with a strong melee as the added utility and instant crowd control is great for enabling your DPS partner. Just look at Warrior Shadow Priest last season as an example. Well, Scatter Play takes that to the extreme, taking the instant crowd control of both Hunter and Shadow Priest with the throughput of a Druid to keep them alive, rounding out the composition perfectly. Joining Scatter and the final composition in our A tier is going to be Retribution Paladin, Arms or Fury Warrior, and then a Holy Priest. This comp has also seen equal success with Restoration Shaman and also Restoration Druid. This cleave left a huge mark on both the EU and NA ladders last season, and although hit quite hard by the nerfs to Warrior, remains to be very strong. Arms is the version we've seen have the most success due to all of that added utility enabling your team to stay alive for longer. But again, the nerfs to defensive stance coupled with nerfs to Retribution, Paladin healing has definitely made Ret Warrior a lot weaker defensively than last season, which in turn hurts a lot of matchups, especially those like Rogue Mage. All right, so now you've seen our high tier picks for 9.2, and before we jump into the lower end, if you like our tier list, it's probably because you wanna stay up to date on what is competitive. And there is no better place than skillcap.com to show you exactly how to bring out your best in WoW PvP. For prices as low as $4.99 a month, you can get instant access to everything you need to improve as a player. Want tips for setting up your character? We got it! Want to know the best strategy for a matchup you struggle with? We have the help you need. With over half a million lifetime users and a money back guarantee, you can be confident that skillcap.com has everything you need to level up this patch. So don't delay. If you want to bring out the best in your gameplay, check out skillcap.com slash wow today. Now we're going to be dropping down another tier to our B tier. All these compositions are more than rank 1 viable, but with a lot of losing matchups, we can't justify putting them higher on our tier list. First of which being Turbo Cleave, which is the strongest composition for an enhancement shaman, of course paired up with a warrior. Both arms and fury work, with arms being a little stronger. As for healer, anything other than disc or restoration shaman can work to varying levels of success, with holy paladin shaping up to be the best. In the first couple of weeks of season 3, we had turbo pitted to be one of the best compositions, but much warranted nerfs to enhancement shamans, healing has toned it down a peg. Nonetheless, we all know how turbo plays, having ridiculously high single target pressure, coupled with the utility and off heal of an enhancement shaman combined with an arms warrior to help keep him alive and bring that much needed mortal strike effect. Joining Turbo Cleave, our next composition is one that again has dropped down a few tiers this season. Demon Hunter, Balanced Druid, Restoration Shaman. 
Despite still remaining what we believe to be the strongest composition for both Demon Hunters and Balanced Druids, this comp took a huge hit after the nerfs to the Kindred Affinity Legendary for Balanced Druid and has now made the composition a lot less durable. Nonetheless, with the Balanced Druid linking instead to himself and picking up the Time Worm Dream Binder Legendary, the damage is still undeniably there. A strong composition all around, just by no means the abomination it ended up being last season. Moving on, we've got two comps in one here as they, for the most part, play the exact same. RLS or RPS, which is Rogue Lock Shaman or Rogue Shadow Priest Shaman. This takes the extremely high consistent pressure of an Assassination Rogue and pairs it up with either a Destruction Warlock or a Shadow Priest, then grabbing a Restoration Shaman for their healer. But again, both Druid, Holy Priest, and Holy Paladin are all very good healer options for both comps. We've seen these two compositions have somewhat of a resurgence as a result of the Assassination Rogue tier set bonuses. But with both Rogues and Shadow Priests having much better comp options, we might not have seen this composition at its true potential. And if there is any composition that could easily climb higher on this tier list, it's going to be one of these two. Also finding itself in our B tier, we've got a melee cleave. This time, it's the Walking Dead, which if you don't know, is Windwalker, Death Knight, paired up with either a Restoration Shaman or Mistweaver Monk. This comp has always been around and has continued to struggle into most of the meta comps, keeping it at the lower end of our tier list for some time now. But with Frost Death Knights and Windwalker synergizing incredibly well with their setups and how they want to do damage, it continues to be the best composition for Frost Death Knight. Continuing with our packed B tier, we've got another melee cleave. This time it's Demon Hunter and then either an Unholy or Frost Death Knight. With this season seeing a large resurgence in caster cleaves like Mage Lock and Ellie Mage, DHDK acts as a great answer to them. Both Demon Hunters and Death Knights being adept at dealing with magic damage and excelling into teams without mortal strike effects means this cleave should end up being decently strong, especially when paired up with either a Druid or Restoration Shaman Healer. Last but not least, the final comp finding itself in our B tier is Shadow Play, which is Shadow Priest Warlock Healer. As for Warlock specs, we've seen Affliction have the most success, but Destruction and Demonology are definitely on equal playing fields. Restoration Druids remain the go-to healer, with Holy Paladins and Holy Priests being more than viable alternatives. Despite all participants of this comp having much better options available to them, Shadow Play always seems to have representation. More than likely, due to the playstyle of this composition, essentially just revolving around very high PvE damage, which on assumption, makes it very fun to play despite not being the strongest. Which now brings us to our lowest tier of C. Once again, don't be discouraged if you're looking to play one of these comps. Everything on this list is at the very least playable, and unless your goal is to reach rank 1 ladder, it really doesn't matter. The first composition being one that's been hit very hard going into Season 3, Shadow Priest Arms Warrior Restoration Shaman, known as WPS. This was one of the flagship compositions of last season, but nerfs to both Shadow Priest's damage and Arms Warrior's survivability have turned this composition from one of the best to one of the weakest. Its main strength was its defense, and now with Arms Warrior being a lot less durable, the comp just hasn't been performing anywhere near the same levels. Joining WPS in our bottom tier, we've got a composition which always seems to be around but just never really performs, TSG, which is Warrior DK Healer. Warriors, as we just mentioned, are a lot weaker, and Death Knights, well, even with all the new additions of tier sets and double legendaries, remain to be one of the weaker of the melee specs. As for healers, honestly, any healer but priest can fit into TSG quite well. The final composition on our list is one which, much like WPS, was one of the meta-defining comps of Season 2. Feral Druid, Arms Warrior, Healer, most commonly referred to as Kitty Cleave. What made this composition so strong last season was the Kindred Spirits Legendary, and as we know, this got heavily nerfed. Combine this with the direct defensive nerfs to both Warrior and Feral has now left Kitty Cleave feeling like one of the worst options for all specs involved. Okay then guys, that just about wraps up our first look at 3v3 compositions going into Shadowlands Season 3. On screen now you'll see a recap of all the compositions included in this tier list. It's fair to say Holy Priest Fire Mage is the meta defining duo of specs, and when paired up with almost any DPS partner will end up being a strong composition. It's also good to see Fury Warriors back in action after a very long hiatus, and if there was one spec to look out for this season, it's definitely got to be the Assassination Rogue once they get their tier set. Remember though, just as a whole, once we see more players get four set and once Double Legendary is released, we could see quite a few changes to this list, so be sure to check back for the most up-to-date version. But no matter what comp you're playing this season, there's always something to learn over at skillcap.com slash wow. If you're looking for that extra help to make your goals a reality this season, then consider checking us out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.